Good morning, good evening, welcome to our weekly team webinar. It's George Robinson here. Um, Marin, I believe, is going to try and get on in a few minutes. Um, please let me know if you can hear me. I've got a couple of people saying no audio. Yep, looks like we have that sorted now, cool. Okay, I'm just posting another message in the group to uh, let people know that we're just starting. Um, me forward slash webinar. So with the um, companies doing the Infinii Digital webinar, at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard, so that's uh, another hour. So we'll try and keep this one to about 30 minutes and get onto that one because there'll be some pretty cool updates in there. Um, hello, Neri. How are you doing? Okay, so. Um, as I say, we'll try and keep this one pretty short. There's just a couple of things we should go over um, briefly. Um, before we get into the um, company one soon. So as for company updates, I think uh, you probably would have received an email from Infinio, uh, which had a lot of these covered in here. Um, also, Mirren posted in, in the groups as well. So the purge update. So at uh, basically midnight Pacific Standard Time on the 30th of June, we will be purging out um, any accounts that have never been activated. So anyone that hasn't been either a partner or a member, so either Prime Surge or Excel, so if they haven't been active in either one of those two uh, parts, they will be purged out, removed um, at midnight at the end of this month. Now, all remaining inactive accounts are accounts that have at some point completed payments, so they've either been a partner or they've been a member at some stage. Um, their clocks will reset for another 30 days in the holding tank, and then they will be purged at the end of that, so probably the 30th of July. Now, the reason they're doing that is because they wanted to um, have the marketplace and Infinii Digital released uh, first, but because of a few issues we've had, that's sort of been delayed a little bit. So they're giving these people that we're active time to see these new things before they get removed from the system. That's the reason behind it. And I should speak a little bit louder, I believe. Um, yeah, I mean, the marketplace was supposed to be live by now, but um, we've got to get the vendors in there before we release the marketplace, obviously, because otherwise there is no marketplace can't see my screen either. Now you can see my screen, yes? <laughs> no, still can't see my screen? Now we can. Alright, sorry about that. Um, yeah, so the marketplace, they obviously need the vendors in there to load their products before the uh, marketplace side is going to work for us members to um, drop ship or sell their products. So it's sort of a process that we need all the vendors to get in there and then they've got to get all their products and they upload it in there so it takes time. But there is a webinar on that um, later in the week too. So that's why the delay basically. And of course with the Infinii Digital Signal Forge, that was going to be released earlier too, but because of the um, stuff going on in the UK, um, leaving the EU, that sort of caused a lot of um, disruption in the currency market in particular. So they didn't want to release the trading program and that in the midst of all of that, which makes sense. So that's basically why. Um, builder packs. Now they've been released and your replicated link is now available in your back office under Partner, Promotional, Links, Links and Media. So we talked about this last week. Um, but there's also an upgrade version that has been logged in there now as well. 
And if I show you So you can go to Partner, uh, Promotional Links, Links and Media, and you'll see your Builder Pack sign-up link is here. Once again, this the Builder Pack option will be added to the other page, to your standard join page at some stage, but in the meantime they've got them separate. Um, if someone's already created an account and they want to upgrade, they simply come over to the profile come to the current product, which is on this particular account, it's sitting at Prime, and you can upgrade here. So you click on that, and it gives you some options here to upgrade, but then to go to the Builder Packs, come down here in the link at the bottom, and click on that, and it will take you to this page, and once again make sure it has your username at the top, so it is your account that you're upgrading into your billing details and then just select what you want. So maybe you want a 12 month option on Surge which will give you two months for free. Um, partner and it gives you the total down here. Now you can either pay with Payser, uh, local banking and the other one's obviously not in there live yet. So for local banking it's basically just a bank transfer. So you log into your internet banking and just make a transfer into um, Infinii's bank account which all the details are on the next page as you go through there. Uh, there's some countries that this is not available in but most countries I've seen so far is and we'll have a list of countries um, out within the next couple of days as well. So pretty simple process I believe. Um, I heard them say that the marketplace will be available at the beginning of July. Yeah, that's pretty much what they're aiming for, I think, Neri. But again, we'll know more about that on the webinar in a couple of days. Um, so the marketplace and vendor program, the links within our back office, they've shifted that to make it clearer. If you go to, again, Partner, and you'll see down here we've now got marketplace links. Uh, there's a short little video there from Kevin, just saying what's what. Um, now this is the webinar that's going to be on tonight, so there's a link there for it, and if they have any new ones coming, or the recording, I guess will come into here as well. And then you've got your referral links, uh, so your direct sign-up link. Now there was a few people that had issues with these when they clicked on their link. It had their username at the top, which is good, but down here the sponsor it was showing, it was defaulting as admin. So um, make sure that that is correct. I believe they are all good now, but just always check before you send any links out. Now you see there's also a sales video that uh, Kevin did uh, yesterday. He's loaded up in here. So it's a short little two minute video talking about um, the vendor program and how it's good for the manufacturers and that. So a little sales video there, which is very good. You can send to people and then get started. It will go through to your um, page as before, so that you can uh, join. The presentation PDF, they haven't got listed on this page yet, which I imagine they will, and I'll send Kevin a message about that. But in the meantime, you can find it by going to Team ninjas.me forward slash vendors which I will post in here as well and that's this um, nine page PDF which sort of goes over the same stuff as the video uh, just a little bit differently. Um, and now, how to do myself? Sorry, not trying to put you off track. Just for like <laughs> Good work, Steve. Stephen. Um, all right. So that's um, pretty straightforward in there. What else did we have for now? So at the moment they've got 139 vendors in there from 26 different countries and are various stages of uploading their products, our product catalogs. So um, 
at the moment, like the US, they've got, Infineo's got their own warehousing and they can do the shipping for drop shipping. So if you've got a manufacturer that you can send in there, then they can do that part of it. Um, the rest of the world, we are, I mean, obviously you can load your products in, in various countries, but you need to be actually um, warehousing the products yourself and shipping them out as the Infineo members are selling those products on Australia. Um, we load our products into the uh, vendor program, we went to the marketplace as a vendor, and as our Infineo members sell our products, then we simply ship them out as the vendor. We ship them out to the customers directly for them, if that makes sense. Um, in time, Infineo will have their own warehousing and shipping in these different countries, but in the meantime, that's how it's working. And if you don't have access to a warehouse and shipping yourself as a vendor, well then Infineo has made, um, has worked out some contracts with other companies, and we can tie in there. So that is the solution there at the moment. Um, so the Marketplace Update webinar is on Friday, 1st of July, 8pm Central, for 9pm Eastern Standard. Uh, Finneye Digital, so that's tonight, um, once again that's 9pm Eastern, we're walking you through the digital products uh, like SignalForge, which is looking very good, um, particularly for international people, getting a lot of interest um, all over the world for people on that. So that's the majority of what is new I think at the moment, if I've missed anything let me know. Um, is Signal Forge what was options domination? Similar but better, Virginia, a lot better. Um, and Signal Forge is basically it's like a community of um, experienced traders that are, they've created trading systems that work and they're obviously proving it by showing their live results and you can simply copy their results. So you're either um, doing it manually you get like a signal and it tells you here do you want to take this trade so either buy or not or sell depending on whether you're going up or down and you you know you're actually clicking the button manually each time there's a trade or you can have it run automated where once you've um, set it up which is pretty simple to do it will simply just copy the trades that these other experienced traders are making so you can be doing whatever it is you do while these are trading automatically for you and hopefully making you big piles of money. So it can be 100% passive, which a lot of people like, of course. Um, there's no point in talking too much about this because they're about to have a webinar from the company on it. So we can go into that um, next week with any other questions you have after this. But uh, Holding tank, so... Um, I don't know what that note is there, but it doesn't make a lot of sense. So holding tank, we need to be placing people pretty soon. Um, so we come back to this particular account. This is my mother's account, um, which we're sort of helping her a little bit with. If you come to partner, so genealogy. Now we were just talking to Hitesh earlier and he said that this display is about to be updated. They're just loading it into the back office here but I see it's not there at the moment. If we come down, so you click on your name and you can see the different people in your account and your clock here, you'll see we've got zero days left and 13 hours, 45 minutes. So you've got 13 hours to place these people. Anyone that you don't place will get reverted um, by default onto your front line. So if we did nothing right now and there was only four people in here, these four would all get reverted um, by default on our front line. And we don't want four people on our front line. We want to build three legs. Um, obviously you can build as many legs as you like, but we suggest by going through the comp plan and looking at the different um, ways that you get paid out, it makes sense to build in threes. So, and not all of them are going to have um, only 13 hours left. This is people that have joined uh, on June 1st or before. So if you look at some of the later ones further down here, the timer will obviously be a bit different. 
in this display is pretty bad. These people, I think, are a bit newer, so if we click on that... But anyway, you get the idea. But there's uh, so there's 90 people on the first level on here, so you can see it's going to take a while to transfer through all those people. But if we just do a quick placement um, right now, if we move, so what you can do is you can search if you know the username. So here, and you can see this person as Prime but they are not showing as a active partner. So if we want to move them, we click on the sprocket here and enter the upline that you want to assign it to. So we're going to move this person under We'll just check that we've got that username first, correct? Because once you've done this, there is no... Um, you can't change it. Smith. As you can see, I have already got it incorrect. Smith Wash. Okay, so there we go. So back to that person. Now we're going to click on there and we're going to move it to... Now capitals doesn't matter, there's no capitalization issues with it. So we're going to move it um, underneath Smash Walsh and go save changes. It's going to say make sure you can only shift this once so it's irreversible. Make sure you're 100% happy with that. Confirm this move. Parent updated successfully. So now if we search for this user, you will see that they are now underneath uh, Y Robinson, then underneath this person, then underneath this person. Now if you click on, whoops, I can't click on that. If you click on that, it will show that the sponsor is still Y Robinson, but the parent is now Smith Walsh. So what we need to do Is, so we've got now 89 people on our uh, level 1 because we did have 90 but we've shifted one that's no longer on our first level, it's now on our second level and we've now got six active legs there. So ideally all of these people need to be placed down into three different legs. But uh, these three people here we're not too concerned with because they are about to get purged out because they're not active and have never been active. Now if they have been active at some point, but are not active now, well then the clock's going to reset for another 30 days anyway, so you still don't have to worry about them. Um, any questions with that? I think it's reasonably straightforward. Um, once you've done it a couple of times, you'll find it pretty easy. But if you need any help with it, uh, do let us know. Um, what happened to the eBay bulk lister? What is the status? Um, not 100% sure. Marin might have some more information on that. Marin, are you on? I can see you're on, but I don't know if she's got audio where she is. She's there. I'll see if I can unmute her. Sign partner, what? Hello. Hello. Hi. Do you know anything about what was the question? 
the book lister. Uh, no, but I've got just made a note to follow up with Carly. I, I think she's in charge of that site. Um, so I'll just send her a Skype message now and see um, cool. what's going on. Cool. Um, anything else you want to go through while you're out? Um, I can't think off the top of my head. You've done most of the updates. Um, that email from corporate last night was good to see. Um, I don't know if George mentioned, we're, we're constantly talking to the corporate team and the other leaders um, on Skype. And um, But yeah, it's good for them to email everyone in the company so that they all know the updates as well, not just coming through us all the time. But yeah, lots of great things coming. Um, and looking forward to the marketplace going live. I understand there's lots of vendors still being added, um, and I know they don't want to release it until they do have a good um, amount of vendors in there, so it's understandable the delay, but we've definitely got some good vendors we're talking to, and um, be great, especially for the Australian um, team members here. Yeah. Um, yeah. Cool. Um, All right, so we've got another webinar, webinar another, what, 40 minutes? Yeah. The Signal Forge one? Okay, cool. All right. Um, you also, we're about to place a lot of, obviously a lot of our people from our different accounts. So you will notice some people being placed in your team. You'll see some BV increasing below you over the next um, six or so hours. Obviously we've got seven hours to place the majority of our people. In general, you want to talk to um, your direct upline and downline when you're placing people because, um, like we were saying before, you really want three three legs to build. So if you, if someone, um, your upline or whatever, starts placing people down directly below you, well, then that's going to create another leg for you. So you want to talk to your upline and say, um, have you got anyone that you're going to place with me? If they say yes, well then you need to leave one leg free. So you have two people placed and you leave a space for that other person to come in so that your upline's got people to place down below, if that makes sense. Also, one other thing that's a little bit confusing, you to lock someone in on your first level, you do nothing. So if we want this particular person here to be our front line, which we probably wouldn't because they're not active, we would do nothing, and when this clock runs out in zero days and 13 hours' time, this person would end up being on our front line. So anyone that you want on your front line, do nothing, and just make sure you place everybody else, if that makes sense. Another thing, like you can see here, this person's got 400 BV, um, although they're not showing as active. The BV that is showing there is from their downline, from inside their either directly from them or people they've referred down. Okay, so like you will see if we come back to here and you come across, so you'll see someone that's active. I'm really looking forward to this updated thing. Updated um, genealogy display. Okay, so this particular person, you can see that they're active, but they're showing a zero BV. That just means that there's nobody below them yet that is active. Okay. Um, others you'll see that are showing active, but the BV hasn't calculated yet. That means that they were um, active or paid within 30 days, but not since the 1st of June. And that's just because of the way that basically with this new comp plan, that started as a fresh at the start of this month. So if anyone joined on the 29th or 30th of uh, May, they'd be still showing because it's within the rolling 30 days as being active, but their BV won't be counted yet. But in a couple of days' time, that's all about to change anyway. Um, the uh, Commissions tab is pretty straightforward. I want to click on the right thing commissions so you'll see jump starts which you're getting 25% on 
um, the ED, the Prime Surgery Excel, you'll see the date that they enrolled, they came in. Now this will show up straight away. So people are joining and it's instantly showing up. And then the payout date, which is basically a rolling two weeks. So two weeks after that, then it will be come to your available balance. Uh, milestone. So this particular account is at the manager rank. Um, but you can see they've got... Uh, 900 BV, so they're not far away from the next one up, which is the regional manager. And as we start to place people, this account will no doubt pop into that next rank, and they'll receive another bonus. Uh, affinity pay, so that's your pay off of anyone that's got a downline. You're going to match that 10%, well, you're going to get that 10% off their BV. Affinity check match, so you're going to match whatever your downline are doing. And then the milestone check match which again, this account has not done a lot. I need to get my old lady, my mother, to pull her finger out. <laughs> um, got a couple of questions here. Live training live training on marketing in the future, definitely, Stephen. Um, we were going to do that again today, but we've been cut short because of the company webinar that's following straight after, so we haven't really got time to go into that. But we will be doing some uh, marketing training definitely on various different topics, be it YouTube, Facebook, whatever. And have you posted um, in the group any questions you've got on particular marketing or um, you want to know how to do something? We can just record little videos like I was doing a while ago um, and post them to help out. Exactly. Well. Yeah, try and keep all that stuff to the partners group too. Obviously, we've got two different Facebook groups, one for the e-commerce and one for the partners. So try and keep all the partner stuff in the partner group and the e-commerce and the e-commerce group. Um, can you explain further what a builder pack is? A builder pack is, like at the moment, majority of people are on a monthly subscription, so they're paying for either their Prime Surgery Excel on a monthly basis with a credit or debit card. But you can purchase a builder pack, which basically gives you six months or 12 months um, access to Prime Surgery Excel, and you get it at a discount. So you can get, if you pay for six months, well you can actually do three months as well, but for six months you'll end up getting one month free, and for 12 months you'll get two months free. So that's one incentive is why you'd want to do it. Um, another is some people don't have credit cards or debit cards, or they're in countries that they just are very hard to get. So this gives them a local banking option where they can just transfer directly from their bank account, or they can use PAYSA. Um, or, you know, if they've got a whole lot of cash sitting in their pocket, they can just take that into the bank and the bank will just deposit into the other account for you, into Infineon's bank account. So it just gives you more options, basically. Um, most people will still stay on the monthly subscriptions, but uh, there are a few people that will do the builder packs. Um, it's also a quicker way of generating some, a uh, lot more BV, you know. You can pop through those ranks a lot quicker. Um, don't... Good morning, Sophia. Need to be director level. Yes, it, yes. The sooner you get to the director level, the better, definitely. And I don't think you'll be very far away from that, Neri. Um, your upline seems unresponsive. Um, you'll get a bit of that, but you can, at the end of the day, you just keep going up until you find somebody who is responsive. So if you... Yeah, at some stage you're going to come up to Marin and I, and we are responsive. So if you can't get any joy from your direct upline, uh, just send us a message. We'll basically post your message in the group, but if you need it privately, we'll just send Marin and I a message and we'll sort it out. Good morning. It is in the UK probably something ridiculous, like one or two in the morning, I believe. Are you, Sophia and Stephen, yeah. Okay, so... Um, what else was there? Facebook groups, uh, when you, like anyone that you bring into the company, like you send them the getting started email, which we've got the template that we showed you. I mean, you can obviously do your own, but that's just a guide, and that's what we use every day when we send it out to our new people. And it gives them instructions on how to get access to the Facebook group. But the problem is, that at the moment there's just Mirren and I that are the admins of the group and we are accepting people into Facebook, wherever Facebook is, yeah. Um, 
So you can see in this group here, ninjas, um, we have 336 requests to join the group. So these people are not, it's only for people in our team that we want in the group because we don't want to deal with other people spamming stuff or um, just being a pain in the butt, basically. We only want to deal with people that are in our team. It's exclusive, it's an extra bonus for you guys. So, but we, so we need to know whether these people are in our team. Now, if you refer them, so if Neri, whenever she brings somebody new in, she adds them to the group herself, they're not approved, then Merrin and I approve them, but we see down here it shows added by Neri, so we know straight away that we tick approve. Um, and it's very simple. If this person that Neri brought in, if, she, if this person adds themselves to the group, they come up here and click join, um, we don't know them necessarily, so we won't approve them. But if Neri adds them, we know Neri's in the group because it shows us, and then we just click approve straight away. So that's the simplest way to do it. Ideally, if you can do that, that makes it a lot easier. And then of course we will, um, Merrin normally does this, post the getting started, uh, the welcome, welcome message, and if you can all help out and welcome the people into the group, that is great too. Um, a lot of people when they join groups like this, they're a bit can, you know, nervous, shy, whatever, they don't know what to say, they don't feel very welcome, so the idea of this is to make them feel welcome by, you know, liking it and posting a comment, welcome to the team, whatever, is all good stuff, you know? So the more of that that everybody does, the better it is for everybody. Um, 1.30 to a, 1.30 a.m., yes, that is early. <laughs> so, Facebook groups, and once again, as we've got two different Facebook groups, so you've got um, Ecom Ninjas, which is just the ecom side, and then there's the partners group, which is just the partner side. Do we have anything else for now? Holding tank, Facebook group, marketing system. So we've got some new funnels that we are going to roll out. In the meantime, we have a link somewhere. So there's this one here. Mirren's created a ebook. So we're using this uh, marketing funnel. So free blueprint. So you're basically getting people to subscribe by giving them a free product. Uh, everyone likes free, so it's a way to significantly increase your conversions or subscribers. You know, build their email list. And at the end of the day, what we're doing as affiliate marketers is trying to build our list, whether it's an email list, a Twitter list, an Instagram list, whatever. The more people you're in contact with, the bigger your business will grow. With it, you know, it doesn't matter what you're selling. So you're always trying to find ways to improve the conversions and get more people on it. Giving away something free um, is a big incentive, and it helps your conversions drastically. So here we've got a free blueprint: finding products to sell on eBay and Amazon. You know, and it's relative to our market, of course. Um, everything you need to know. So they click on free download, and then they've got to fill out the form here, and then they click on instant download which then takes them to this page and they click on here and download the ebook. So pretty simple, but then they've also got thank you for downloading our e-commerce guide. We hope this helps with growing your e-commerce business. If you have any questions, um, fill out that. And then would you like to know the exact same system we use to earn daily? Um, and then it goes into leading them into Infinii and joining our team and you know getting access to all the awesome stuff within Infinii. And then it's got our link to join here. Uh, so, I mean, all of the stuff's about finding products to sell. Well, Infinii Marketplace is like the best option for that. So it's all tied into really getting people into the business here. And, of course, once they've filled out the form on this page to get to this page, they're now on our email list and they're going to get emails on exactly all of the stuff that they're obviously interested in, which is basically all Infinii. So, um, the ebook's awesome, but at the moment it's full of our links and information, so what we need to do is we're just working on creating a generic one that everyone can use, and then we will do these um, marketing pages for everybody, and we'll do some co-ops in there as well for people that are interested. Um, but the testing that we've done initially has been very, very good. Um, don't forget the Spanish one. <laughs> yep. On to that, Virginia. Uh, great idea. Figure out um, cement. 
Will that have our links on it, Stephen? Yes. Um, in the meantime, like we just need to get this book translated or um, made more generic, and then I can create these on an individual basis pretty much straight away. So we should have them within the next few days for people that are interested. And we'll post some information on that in the group soon. Um, and then, of course, at some stage, we'll have them loaded into the Ninja TB system as well. So it's just simple plug and play for everybody that is interested. Um, Co-ops, so we're going to start them again, 1st of July, or pretty close to that. And this um, funnel we're just looking at will be one of those options in there as well. So that's pretty much it. And as we know that there is a webinar coming up with the Infinii Digital, which is looking very good. Pretty excited about that. Um, I've personally done quite a lot of trading in the past. We were doing it, managed uh, futures, managed accounts for people. It was registered with the CFTC and the NFA in the US. Um, yeah, but uh, being living in Australia, it was night shift, so um, although it was all automated and we wrote our own programs, algorithms, so it was trading automated, when you start managing a lot of money, you need to still be um, watching it in case something goes wrong, you know, there's a glitch in the matrix or <laughs> get a power outage. We did have servers located in Chicago that we were trading directly from there and we just remote connected in. But anyway, the point is it was night shift and it wasn't really very family friendly, friendly with young kids in the house, so we sort of deviated in a different path. But um, trading is awesome and still really enjoy it and look forward to getting back into it with some of these awesome systems that is going to be in the Finning Eye Digital. And just a note on that, um, about 18 months ago, uh, Hitesh and Jason and Kevin launched Options Domination, um, which didn't really go that well, but this is, um, a di this is different to that. So those people who weren't impressed with Options Domination, um, you'll find this is a lot better. But you weren't that impressed with it, George, <laughs> I remember. No. But um, Hadesh has made a lot, oh, and Jason has made a lot of changes, and this is a lot, a lot better. Yeah. Yep. And we actually have got some pretty cool trading systems that we plan on releasing into uh, Finning Eye Digital as well. Um, do you have any news about Infinity Eye Marketplace? Uh, yes, I think we covered that at the start of the webinar, if you missed it, but there is a webinar Friday, Eastern Standard, is that what we said? Where was that? Um, Infinio, Commerce, Digital. Can I find the email? Yeah, Friday 1st, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard. I shall post that in here, right? Eh? So that's the Marketplace webinar, and if you haven't got the Infinii Digital one, which is starting in 20 minutes now, that is it. So, um, yep, we won't hold you up anymore. Time to have a break. Um, I'm going to make myself a coffee or two before we get stuck into the next one. Um, any questions, let us know in the groups, obviously. Otherwise, um, we'll hold another webinar at this time next week. And no doubt we'll be able to then go into some different marketing techniques and some simple daily steps you can do to help build the affiliate side if that's what you're into. So anyway, thank you. Um, nice talking with you. Thanks, thanks everyone. And we'll see you in the groups. Yeah, see you in the next webinar in a few minutes. <laughs> Bye.